Making authentic New York pizza at home is a delightful culinary adventure that promises to tantalize your taste buds with its crispy thin crust and delicious toppings. Making authentic New York pizza at home is a delightful culinary adventure that promises to tantalize your taste buds with its crispy thin crust and delicious toppings. Begin by combining the flour and salt in a large bowl, then dissolve the sugar in warm water and sprinkle the yeast over it. Let the yeast activate for about 5 minutes until it becomes frothy. Slowly add the yeast mixture to the flour, followed by the olive oil, and knead the dough for 10 to 15 minutes until it becomes smooth and elastic. Once the dough has risen, it's time to shape it into that iconic thin crust. Preheat your oven to the highest temperature possible, usually around 500 degrees Fahrenheit 260 degrees Celsius. Sprinkle some flour on a flat surface and stretch the dough using your hands or a rolling pin into a circular shape. Remember, the key is to keep the crust thin, about 1 8 inch thick, while leaving a slightly thicker edge to form the classic New York pizza crust. Now comes the tomato sauce, the soul of any great pizza. In New York-style pizza, the sauce is typically uncooked and made from simple ingredients, allowing the flavors to shine. Crushed tomatoes, preferably San Marzano, are the base of the sauce, combined with minced garlic, salt, pepper, a pinch of sugar, and dried oregano. Moving on to the cheese, use only low-moisture whole milk mozzarella, shredded or thinly sliced. This type of cheese melts beautifully, creating that irresistible gooey texture that New York pizza is famous for. Generously cover the sauce with a layer of cheese, ensuring it reaches all corners of the pizza. At this point, you can unleash your creativity with toppings. While traditional New Yorkers often prefer a plain cheese pizza, feel free to add your favorite ingredients, whether it's pepperoni, mushrooms, bell peppers, onions, olives, or any other toppings that tickle your fancy. Now comes the crucial part, the baking. Slide your pizza onto a preheated pizza stone or an inverted baking sheet, ensuring it has enough room to move freely. Bake for about 10 to 12 minutes or until the crust turns golden brown and the cheese bubbles and slightly chars. Finally, let your homemade New York pizza cool for a minute or two before slicing it into wide, foldable slices. The perfect New York slice should be firm enough to hold but foldable in half to enjoy the ultimate pizza-eating experience. Remember, mastering the art of New York pizza takes practice, so don't be disheartened if your first attempt isn't perfect. Keep refining your technique, experimenting with different toppings and adjustments to the recipe, and soon enough, you'll be savoring a slice of New York right in the comfort of your home. Enjoy! Thank <music> you.